This showed up today at my uh, local box lunch and it is the Pop Town, Disney, Sleeping Beauty Castle, and Mickey Mouse uh, celebrating the 65th anniversary of Disneyland. Um, if you've done any of your research or homework on this one, there are two variations uh, releasing. There's this one with Mickey and then there's a uh, I think much more coveted one with Walt Disney. Um, we haven't seen that one drop yet. I assume it's going to be dropping soon at some point. My guess would be that it'll be a um, Disney Store exclusive and also um, at the World of Disney and area in uh, Anaheim, California, or, or wherever, you know, it's a, it's going to be a park exclusive. So those usually land also on the website. So it'll give an us that want that one uh, equal kind of chance to, to get that. They just randomly pop up. I don't think uh, Disney Store usually announces when they're going to drop um, a Funko Pop release. They never like say time and date. It just kind of shows up either in the middle of the night or um, randomly in the middle of the day sometimes. And I really want that one because we have several Mickey Pops, but we don't have anything with Walt Disney. So, and that dude's the guy that started it all. So really hope I can hit on that one and, and get the Walt Disney variation of this castle. Um, I don't have a huge, huge Disney collection because there's so many Pops, but this one, you know, if you're a fan of Disneyland and have, I mean, who isn't? You have all these memories, then you know how iconic the uh, Sleeping Beauty castle is. Box itself is kind of that off-white color, um, giving it that old sepia-type tone um, look to it, I guess. Kind of give it that older feel from when maybe the um, park first opened. Um, and here we can see some of um, the other ones that are releasing in this collection or that have already released. I've seen the um, Matterhorn Donald and I've seen Mr. Toad. I think he's on the uh, Funko website and a couple of these have already been released. I haven't seen Captain Hook or Peter Pan yet. Um, and there's uh, several of them like on bobsleds. Um, I think there's like a Minnie Mouse one I've seen on Amazon. So... It's a pretty big 65th anniversary collection, but to me, the two castle pieces, the one, this one, and then the uh, Walt Disney one are the uh, biggest pieces that stand out to me uh, as far as what's been shown so far in the 65th anniversary Funko Pop uh, lineup. I'm really anxious because I haven't taken this one out of the box yet to see the details on the castle. People are saying that it's very like well done, uh, detailed castle. You can already see the background has that fireworks and they definitely give it that park feel to it. Here it is out of the box and this is the backdrop, the fireworks, so you can kind of see it better with that, all that uh, reflection from it being in the foreground on the, on the box. Um, you can kind of see how it would look with the entire set. I don't have a lot of these uh, Pop Towns, mostly just because this and uh, a lot of the 10 inch uh, Funko Pops take up a lot of space. Um, but the one I do have is like the dock with Clock Tower and uh, and they're the two piece things where it comes with the Funko Pop and then you get the actual building that um, it's um, with. Let's take a look at Mickey first. Very much looks like he's ready to lead a parade all down uh, Main Street in Disney. Just looking at this, I can just picture the, um, I could just hear the electrical music uh, parade in my ear. That's one of my favorite uh, Disney songs. It's like nostalgic and I hope they bring that back. The electric parade, I know they bring it back every um, couple years. It's pretty cool. Um, Main thing I wanted to see was the, the castle. No disrespect to Mickey because after all, it all started with the mouse. And I've just said no disrespect, I knocked him down. So 
Forgive me, sir. So let's take a look at the actual Sleeping Beauty castle. Try to see if I can capture the most detail for you to see. This is the first time I'm looking at it too um, out of the box, so if I'm kind of quiet in some points, it's because I'm just kind of just observing um, how much they put into this pop town. We'll turn this one around. And here's the other side. Very, 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 very well done uh, building piece here. You know, that texture from the brick. A lot of this detail maybe we wouldn't necessarily see because a lot of times we're just kind of walking right through the, the middle. So we'll see a lot of the exterior or see it from far away if we're at the park and uh, taking a selfie or photo with this in the backdrop. There's not anything on the bottom other than just the copyright. It's got the screws there. I guess if you wanted it, take it apart. I don't know why you would, but I'm sure there's somebody out there curious enough to wonder um, what it would look like with the screws taken off and if it separates into pieces or different pieces. Um, I'm not that person. The bravest I can do is just taking it out of the box. And even that I know some people will not do at all because you have to be real careful opening everything so that it does not get uh, damaged. Just an overall like iconic piece. That's what Funko is usually consisting of is iconic pieces. Um, the castle itself is very, very iconic of Disneyland, of Disney. Um, you know, beginning of every film, we see a uh, castle come up uh, for different variations, uh, depending on when you grew up or what movie you're watching. But we've had like the 90s version that was around for a while, that opening, uh, production uh, animation and now we have the newer ones that are like much more like detailed and um, intricate as far as like the animation is much more 3D um, compared to what we used to see in some of the older films. And this one retailed at Box Lunch for $32 and change. I really wish this would have released when lunch money was still going on. I'm pretty sure they held back on this one for that specific reason. Uh, the store I went to only got three. I've seen this as low as $27 on Amazon as a pre-order, I think shipping in mid-October. So if you still wanna pre-order or have this one, you can go to Amazon, find it a bit cheaper for 27 if you don't see it in store, but You'll have to roll your dice as to how Amazon will ship your order and in what condition your box will arrive. They had three at box lunch and two out of the three boxes had some issues, some dings on the side, the corners. Um, but again, this is super cool. Like I wouldn't blame anyone for taking this one out of the box, tossing it on a shelf, a living room, something like, it's just one of those things that is equally cool out of the box on display as it is on box with all your other Funko Pops. Again, thank you for watching and supporting this channel.